<laughs> Hello beautiful people, good morning. Okay, it's morning, it's Monday morning here. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know when the video is going to come up. <laughs> no. <laughs> so today, business as usual, I'm going to buy vaccines for my bed. They are due for vaccination. I think one of them had a new castle breakout. They had dry neck or so and a week plus so well when I get to the vet shop for the vaccine I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Stay tuned. So this is a chick from my flock and I noticed it has dry neck which can sometimes be called crooked neck, twisted neck or when it's stargazing or something like that so you see it's, it's finding difficult it tilts backwards because it's finding it difficult to gain balance and all that so typically when you read up on google you're going to see that right neck is caused by certain factors ranging from vitamin vitamin deficiency from ingesting toxins and some say is Lasota vaccine failure but the most prominent one is the vitamin deficiency and sometimes too um, genetic disorders meaning that maybe the parent chick of this chick is lacking vitamin E especially the vitamins the vitamin E selenium so that's what causes this condition uh, but yeah the condition is not transmissible it's not that the other ones cannot contact it so so the first way to treat this bed is to first isolate the beds yes so like i said the condition is not contagious and the good news is yes your chick can cope with right neck it can actually survive it so here's what i did so hi 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 people so today the condition we're generally talking about is the wry neck condition so wry neck is when the chicken is start gazing it has a crooked or a twisted neck like the neck is turned upside down it can't feed properly it's called twisted is it is twisted it's so it cannot survive on its own without an assistance and yeah what's the cost of this right neck it's caused by basically it's caused by a vitamin deficiency so when the chicken is deficient in certain kinds of vitamins sometimes a genetic disorder so it's from the parent because right neck usually happens uh, from baby chicks but maybe occasionally adult hens and maybe adult chickens so it's when um, it's 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 lacking vitamins or the parent chick lacks vitamin e then sometimes too it's caused by ingesting toxins so that's also what causes the right neck condition so as we proceed so let's just go and monitor the chicken that had right neck so although it's recovered now so then i'm still administering vitamins so let me just show you what i'm doing and how i do it come with me First, I assisted the bed to feed and gave it this vitamin. Hi, so this is that my chicken that had a twisted neck that was out of vaccine failure, Newcastle vaccine failure. So I suspected it had Newcastle disease and I introduced ascorbic acid, which is vitamins and um, royal solution and antibiotics to it. Antibiotics I used was Doxy, contain doxycycline and oxytetracycline so that's what I gave it and you must separate it from the flock to avoid stampede so however your chick gets a right neck whether it's through a head injury or any other form what is important is that the chick has to be given vitamins so you start by crushing vitamin e if you get any you get vitamin c you get multivitamins you get b complex you crush all of this and put it in the water well antibiotics is just to cure any viral diseases that comes around in in in, in process of this sickness so all this condition so this is just my practice and like i said 
this is a disclaimer i am not a vet and this is just what i do so and this is what worked so it's because it worked and that's why i brought it to show you see it all over me climbing i wish you recovery darling oh i have to revaccinate them but that's after you are well i will reverse i will vaccinate the others again i hope you get well soon so i was thinking i was going to lose it but i just kept feeding it manually and making sure that it took the drugs so here's it guys so now i am going to vaccinate them again prayerfully this time around it won't fail so i'm in my local vet shop i came to get the vaccines lasota and gomboro vaccine at the local vet shop take a look at all the drugs we use to take care of these chickens uh, okay guys let's still dive into the video stick with me and watch so the chickens have joined the siblings yes i can't even tell which one it is again it has joined reconciled with its siblings reconciliation has taken place they're all feeling fine now so in the cold hours of the day preferably in the morning or evening i'm going to administer the lasota vaccine again and so we pick up from that so this is how the vaccine comes in it's actually bought with eyes so one of it is the Gomboro vaccine, the IBD, infectious bursa disease vaccine. The other is the Lasota vaccine. I noticed right neck, like I earlier said, one of the beds. So I am going to repeat the Lasota vaccine. So this is 100 dose because they are about 100. Yes. So I'm going to use them. Um, Look at where my water stopped, and I'm going to put that vaccine inside. So I wanted to show you this. So let me come and administer. That's so just So that's all. It's it's all empty inside of it. So I discard. So I'm going to divide the water into two halves because they are in two partitions. Close this. And this vaccination is just about for a few minutes. Once the water is over, you remove, you change it an hour maximum. So that's it. So they are currently taking the water, the Lasota vaccine water. The brown beds are called noilers, the whites are called broilers, then there's the turkey beds. So I put them all together. So here they are. They are going to take it in turn. Once the first set is finished, they will go back to the feeding tray. Then the next set go back to the feeding tray. They will soon be off brooding as they are already two weeks. So now this is the chicken that has the rhino condition. It's fully recovered now. Now, so it's going to be joining the flock very soon. This is food, so I just try to monitor it closely, watch it, and I still give it vitamins, vitamins, whichever. <laughs> So now you can see the chicken drinking the water, the drugs have dissolved now. You can see the chicken drinking the water without twisting his neck. That's how I've been going on with it until it's recovered. So yeah, like I said earlier, the good news is that they can cope with a rhino condition. It can actually recover. Yes, it was only this one that was affected. So it is not a contagious disease, but even though I isolated it timely and started treating it, 
individually like pay, paying attention to it and assisting it to feed and all that and if you see the other you see that it was small then but yeah it's a i had to <laughs> let it free range so she yeah she is a she so she is a free ranger now she just ranges and walks around in my compound and so it's good to see that your chickens can actually be unwell you feel bad and it recovers and you feel good yay let me show you my face when i'm feeling good <laughs> yay <laughs> so this is me and the chicken it's fully recovered so she eats here mm -hmm. this is where she stays so this is where you stay thank you for subscribing so please hit the like button subscribe share like this video comment has your chicken survived a right neck condition before what did you do so try this method when you see your chicken sick with right neck thank you